From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. This is the end of the Supreme Court's term. On Thursday, we learned their judgment on the Obama health care plan. But today came the other major decision of this late term when the court struck down some key portions of that controversial law in Arizona meant to crack down on illegal immigration. It's an emotional issue. It's a local issue in a lot of places. And it's political, of course, especially in an election year. But the court said today, in effect, the federal government gets to deal with immigration, not the states. We have it covered tonight from Washington to Arizona to the law itself. We begin with our justice correspondent, Pete Williams, at the Supreme Court. Pete, good evening. Brian, this is a narrow victory for Arizona, but enough of one for the governor to declare victory today and to vow to start putting the surviving parts of the law into effect as soon as all the legal battles are over. While the court today struck down major parts of Arizona's tough immigration law, one that inspired state crackdowns around the nation, it unanimously upheld the most controversial requirement, that police making arrests or traffic stops check the immigration status of anyone suspected of being here illegally and detain them until their status is verified. This is the day that we have been waiting for. And make no mistake, Arizona is ready. We know the eyes of the world will be upon us. Four justices joined Anthony Kennedy's overall majority opinion, the court's three liberals and Chief Justice John Roberts. The three other conservatives dissented. Justice Elena Kagan, who worked on the issue before she came to the court, sat this one out. Today's ruling came with a warning for Arizona that if police detain people too long to check their immigration status or use the law as a pretext for rounding up suspected illegal immigrants, then the part of the law upheld today might cross the line of what's constitutional. I think the court is saying there are very strict limitations on how this provision can ever be implemented. I think it's also saying there are substantial uh, legal matters to be resolved before any implementation goes forward. The surviving part of the law now goes back to the Arizona courts to consider whether it invites racial profiling, something the state strongly denies. Today's ruling struck down provisions of the Arizona law that made it a state crime for illegal immigrants to look for work or to lack proper immigration papers and that would have let police there arrest without a warrant anyone they suspected of being here illegally. Justice Antonin Scalia spent 11 minutes reading a forceful dissent, saying Arizona should be entitled to pick up the slack and lax federal enforcement. And he called the Obama administration's new policy, letting children who were brought here illegally remain, quote, the non-enforcement program. The court will be in session just one more day this term, Thursday, and that's when we'll get the health care decision, ending this term with maximum drama. Brian? All right, Pete Williams, where it all happened today. Pete, thanks. And now to where this all started. This was the Arizona case the court decided today, after all. NBC's Mike Taibbi is there tonight and has reaction for us to the court ruling. Anytime, Mom. It only seemed like a normal day for Letitia Ramirez's family, her husband off to his construction job, and her children watching early morning TV. But she and her husband have been in this country illegally for over a decade. And when she later watched the Supreme Court ruling unfold, she said the verdict, though it only upheld the so-called show your papers part of the law, was still threatening. It's going to affect the whole community because they're not going to be able to go out, have a, a normal life. They're going to be afraid that if we go out, they might be, we might get stopped just for your color. Kelly Townsend is a mother too. My daughter is, is uh, half Hispanic. She and other supporters of 1070 saw today's ruling, which requires law enforcement to check immigration status, as a clear win and a reason to keep pushing for the parts of the bill ruled unconstitutional. I do believe that is a victory. That was the heart of SB 1070. One step at a time, if necessary. This is where the rubber meets the road. Meanwhile, on the front lines of the state's effort to curb illegal immigration, local units like Pima County's Border Crimes Unit work with federal border patrol agents to try and stem the flow along 120 miles of border. If they get to this spot, they're almost home free. Yes. The sheriff's department has detained and arrested hundreds while SB 1070 was drifting in the political winds. And Pima County Sheriff Clarence Dupnick says the ruling will change nothing about how this job is done. It doesn't take a genius to determine whether somebody is here illegally given uh, the reality of our work. 
It's also a reality that most in this state believe Arizona must do what they say the federal government has not done. This is the law. We need to enforce it. And the reality, too, that one group primarily believes today's ruling leaves them as vulnerable as ever. Arizona has already spent about $3 million defending its controversial law, most of it from private donations. There are some questions raised today about whether there'll still be the appetite, the political will to continue to defend the law vigorously if the taxpayers have to start footing the bill. Brian? Mike Taibbi in Phoenix for us tonight. Mike, thanks.